Hey guys, John Cox here, man. We're hanging out at the pool. It's 100 and something degrees here in Florida, me and the TAC warehouse team. Uh, and we were just talking about stick baits. And, and I was kind of wondering, you know, uh, what's the difference between a Maxent General and a Power Bait General? And, and also some of the other competitor stick bait brands. And, and uh, I wasn't sure. I've just, you know, I've won a lot of money on the Maxent General and it's pretty much all I've thrown uh, for, the, for, for the last, I don't know, five or six years now. And uh, we're gonna find out today in the pool you know, what makes that bait different, you know, the Maxent General and the Power Bait General uh, from some of the other leading competitors. Okay, let's start out what we know about Berkeley products. Uh, first off, you have the Power Bait, which is, is more of a, a fish has to eat it to taste it, and then they hang on to it for a much longer time than a lot of the other worms. Uh, and then you have Maxent, which is scent dispersion. So when you're throwing that out, letting that worm soak, uh, it's actually scent coming off of it that attracts the fish over to it, then they eat it, and taste it and end up swallowing it. Uh, a lot different than the other, other stick baits on the market that don't have any scent. So in my personal experience, um, you know, for all them years, I, I, I threw the Cinco probably like a lot of you other guys had. Um, and then Berkeley all of a sudden was like, hey, we want you to try our new stick bait. Um, and that's when I got some of these Magcent Generals in the mail. And uh, I won a few hundred thousand dollars right off the bat. The, the first year I had them, um, you know, it, it, was, it was unreal. It worked so well. Uh, and then year after year that I pretty much just kept the Maxent General in my hand um, probably the last five or six years uh, and not, didn't really get to test the Powerbait one much because the Maxent one was so good. Um, and now being able to get here in the pool, uh, being able to see the actions, uh, time these baits hit the bottom, you know, just everything different. I mean, even to, even to pull in the bait, the action that the baits give off uh, when you're pulling them up off the bottom, uh, I was really impressed and I'm actually able to really see why, uh, what ones work better in different uh, situations. All right guys, so first off, you know, I'm a terrible worm fisherman. I always have been. And all of a sudden, you know, come 2017, I, I end up, that's what I end up throwing and catching my fish on. All of a sudden I'm a worm fisherman. And I always thought it was me getting older and you know slowing down and figuring things out you know oh let it soak a little longer uh and now we just found out that <laughs> it was it was it wasn't me at all it was the maxent general uh because of how quickly it gets to the bottom uh you know over over at all our testing um it was by far the fastest to get at the bottom so that's why i'm thinking i'm catching more fish because i'm more efficient uh throwing the maxent general because of how quickly it gets down there um, that I'm not wasting any time. I'm throwing it in the strike zone or where I think that fish is. Uh, you know, the scent dispersions, if I'm, if I'm a little off on where I'm casting, we'll bring the fish over and uh, I'm just catching more fish with it. So when we were testing the power bait ones in the pool, I, I was really surprised. I mean, it was right there. Uh, it fell just a little bit slower than the max scent general to about the same as a Cinco. So now that made me really uh, excited because now I'm able to get the power bait ones in some of the old colors I used to throw. Speaking of your colors, man, the Max Scent, it's got more of a uh, muted matte finish, you know, more natural kind of colors, uh, you know, which is great at times. But now with the power bait, you're able to, you know, all your old original colors that you threw in the past, a lot more options, a lot more sizes. Um, and it just makes me think of a time uh, you know, where sometimes, you know, you need power bait over the max scent. Sometimes they don't want to eat max scent at a lake, you know, especially a lake uh, super pressured where a lot of guys are catching a lot of fish on max scent. And I have had where I've had to uh, swap over from the max scent general to a Berkeley jerk shad, uh, which is power bait, uh, and to catch my fish. And now knowing what I know about the power bait generals, I'm going to be able to just make that switch from max scent to the power bait flavor uh, and catch those fish at those same lakes. So between both of these, the Max Scent and the Power Bait, uh, I'm gonna have every kind of stick bait I possibly need uh, for any body of water across the country. I'm telling you, it's all about action here and you're gonna see here in this video. Action, action, action. The, the fall rate on these are incredible uh, and let's check them out. Okay, first off, we're gonna try the Yum Dinger. So man, the Yum Dinger, man, that is, that is a super slow fall. Uh, it looks like it's got okay, decent action falling down, but man, I, I mean, that's got to be at least twice as slow as some of the other ones, which might be good if that's something you're looking for. If you want a stick bait to fall really slow, that might be what you want. Or if you're Texas rigging, you know, you can get it down to the bottom quicker. 
but it's definitely a, a lot slower fall. Let's see when you do the pull pull on it. Yeah, it kicks pretty good when you pull on it. Uh, and this is the next the next fastest, the Cinco. You look at it, it's falling a little quicker. It's got good, a good quiver. Let me see, let me pull it. It's got good action when you pull it. Let's try it again. Yeah, very controlled fall. It's falling in the exact place that you drop it to. And it's quivering down to the bottom. Just what you would expect from a Cinco. And next up is the second fastest, the Berkeley Powerbait General. Yeah, that's sinking pretty quick. It's got a, a pretty good quiver. So let's pull it and see what it looks like pulling it. Okay. Kind of kind of falls a little bit, glides out to the side. I kind of like that. Quivering, quivering. Okay, so I like what it is. So it's quivering as it's falling. And then when you pull it, and it's quivering again. Let me see if I can get it to do that far side. There it goes. That's what we're looking for. See how that glides to the side? Uh, I mean, it's it's now moving almost it's moving almost a foot after the pull. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Look how it's moving to one side to the other. Wow. So that's now that what I think that's doing now is opening that strike zone uh, from where it's you know uh, normally it's in a small area and it's quivering straight down to now it's more erratic, uh, more side to side as it's sinking. So now it's, now it's actually covering a lot more water, you know, on a single cast. Last up is the fastest falling, the Max Scent General. Let's give it, wow. <laughs> that, that one gets to the bottom pretty quick. That is, a, it's definitely noticeable, a lot more noticeable than the other ones. It's got a nice quiver as it falls. Very, uh, very erratic with this one. This one's side to side. Let me try pulling it. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that, that was a couple feet. Wow, that's pretty neat. So it's very erratic on the fall, uh, and it gets down there quick. Wow, look at that. Just shoots to the side. It's shimmying quite well. It gets to the bottom quick. You pull it. Oh yeah, look at that, it, that just shot back, you know, oh, a few feet. Wow. Well that's it, that, that, that shows you right there why that one is number one to me. I mean, that, that is why I've caught so many fish. I kind of feel terrible that we're showing you guys all this. Uh, it's probably been a little bit of a secret <laughs> that I didn't know I had. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's super cool. That's neat there. All right, guys, there you have it. We knew it was all about scent dispersion and scent, but now we actually see that the action and the fall rate uh, is what's also triggering a lot of bites, which is making the worm so good. Um, you know, when I thought it was me the whole time working it, it was actually really the worm doing all the work. And uh, it's just super cool, you know, for years and years, I, I didn't want to fish this worm because of how slow you had to fish it. Uh, and I learned over the years that you can power fish this worm. Once this worm came out, you're able to fish it fast, skip it past stuff, uh, gets to the bottom fast, uh, and, it, and you're gonna catch a lot of fish. And it's just a super neat technique. And uh, if you guys haven't picked up any stick worms, head over to Tackle Warehouse and pick some up. <laughs>